so we have seen different plots for your categorical variables and now we are going to move on to the numerical variables and create different plots for that. The first one over here is your dot plot. So we are going to write the code that will generate a dot plot for a sample of 30 edges from the data set. So we already have your pandas library and matplotlib. So we, we will import numpy as well. Import numpy as np because it is used for advanced statistical analysis. And now we are going to sample 30 random ages from the age column in your data frame that was defined earlier also that is over here data. Okay. So, from this data set we are going to extract the age column and then from that age column we are going to randomly sample 30 ages. So, let us write the code for that. So, let us define the sample size sample underscore size as 30 and write sample underscore ages as data age dot sample sample underscore size the same variable that we have used over here and then we also add another argument over here random state is equal to 42 okay so what we are doing basically is that if you look at this portion so we are basically focusing on your age column in your data frame data and not this dot sample this is actually a pandas method that is used to randomly select a specified number of rows from that column so here since we have written sample size and sample size we have fixed as 30 so it means it will randomly sample 30 values from that column and note that we have written over here random state is equal to 42. So this basically this random state parameter over here it is set to 42 or we fix it to some value so that every time you perform this code you will get the same random sample okay otherwise it might get changed so you can write any other non negative integer also so but common convention is to use 42 or you may use 123 also and if you do not want reproducibility you can just random you can mention this as none so random state none means that every time you run the code you would get a different random sample so once you write this basically this variable over here this sample ages will contain a random sample of 30 age values from the column age of the data frame now since there can be repetition in these age values suppose 25 may appear 3 times and 22 may appear 5 times. So, in that case we want to see how many unique values are there and their corresponding counts. So, next we are going to write unique ages, unique underscore ages comma counts is equal to np dot unique. We are calling the numpy library over here. And here we will write sample ages and written counts is equal to true. So here we are basically calling the numpy library to calculate the unique ages from this sample ages and that will be stored in unique ages and their corresponding counts as well to create the dot plot. So, this function basically np dot unique function this is used to find the unique values within this variable. So, it will return an array consisting of all unique age values and this over here we set at true this parameter which means that in addition to the unique values also it will the function is going to return a second array that will contain the count also for each unique value. So, basically you will have two variables one is unique ages this variable will basically contain an array of 
unique age values okay like 25 30 27 28 like this and the second variable that is counts this would contain an array of counts so basically it will represent that how many counts are there or the number of times each unique age value appears in your sample ages so once this is done we want to create a dot plot right and for creating that we need to have a list of age values which are repeated according to their respective counts so to in, in order to create that list we will just write over here use list comprehensions to create scatter x and scatter y so i will explain the meanings of these so let me just first write scatter x is equal to value for idx comma value in enumerate unique ages unique underscore ages for in range counts i index over here and scatter y is basically your i for count in counts for i in range 1 to count plus 1. So, what we have done over here, see since we needed a list of age values repeated according to their respective counts, so we are going to create a list over here. So, it will repeat suppose 25 is coming 3 times then it will write 25 the count for 25 is 3 from here it means that it will repeat 25 3 times it will write 25 25 and 25. So, likewise if 22 is appearing twice then it will write 22 and 22. So, like in that way you will get a list. So, this scatter x over here it will contain list of age values repeated according to their respective counts. So, this is a list comprehension which iterates over the unique ages ok this you have already obtained it will iterate over your unique ages and for each unique age value it will repeat that value these many number of times. So, it will see as I just said for instance if there are 3 individuals who are age 25 then this over here scatter x will contain 3 25s. And if you look at scatter y, so basically it will also contain it will be list of integers that represent the position along the y axis for each dot in the dot plot. Okay. So, it will go from 1 to the maximum count for any age. So, if 25 is appearing 3 times whereas 22 is appearing suppose 5 times and all other ages are appearing less than 5. So, it will go up till that. Okay, so, it will go up to the maximum one. So, here let us see what it means. So, this is also creating a list comprehension. It will iterate over these counts and for each count it will generate a sequence of values that will start from 1 to count plus 1. Okay, so, note that why we are writing count plus 1 because in python when we specify a range from start to end. So, the end value is always excluded. Right. So, if you just write count it means this last value this count actually will be excluded and it will go up till count minus 1. So, that is why we go up till count plus 1 so that the last one that is count is included in this range. Okay. So, if range is 1 to 4 it will include only 1 to 3 and 4 will be excluded. So, we do not want that that is why we write count plus 1. So, finally, basically here we have 
list of age values which are repeated according to the respective counts and scatter y this is basically the list of integers that represents the position along the y axis. So, now let us create this dot plot using the scatter plot plt dot scatter. So, on we will use this function over here scatter yeah spelling is correct. So, scatter underscore x. So, this will represent your x coordinates and scatter dot scatter underscore y will be your y axis and we want to use red color suppose for your dots. So, we will mention that and uh, if you want the edges of the dots to be also of black color we can mention it and we also set the size of each dot to suppose 50. So, it has already given it. So, scatter plot. So, on x axis you have these, on y axis you have this red you can see these are the dots edge colors are black ok you may change it according to your need and the size of each dot is 50. So, we you can alter that. So, let me first complete this code over here. So, plt dot y ticks it will go from range 1 to max counts plus 1. So, again we are writing plus 1 over here which means that so here we want the y ticks positions to be basically based on the counts of ages. So, here you can see it is some randomly coming because we have not written the entire code. So, here we want to specify that the y axis tick positions should be based on the count of ages in order to ensure that each group age is represented properly. So, here you can see that max counts first it will see the maximum count value from the counts array. So, it will represent the maximum number of dots stacked vertically at any age value right. So, you can see there are three dots stacked on this age and in this case we have 2. So, here it will generate this range will generate a sequence of integers it will start from 1 that is the y axis over here it will start from this bottom 1 and it will go up till maximum counts plus 1. So, 1 more than the maximum count value because ultimately it will consider the maximum counts. So, now we can just also write the figure set the figure size plot dot figure fix size as 8 by 4. So, 8 is the width and 4 is the height. Let us also mention the title of this plot. So, we will write dot plot for ages in the x axis what should be the label it will be the age and in the y axis the label will be count now suppose you want to add the grid lines plt dot grid so let us only add grids for the y axis not for the x axis and we want this these grids or the lines to be of dashed style. So, you can see here we write this and we set the thickness or the transparency over here as 0.7. So, if you make it if you want to make it darker so you can do that, but then the readability will be affected. So, I will show you how it is done. So, let me just first complete this plot dot show finally it will reflect the plot ok. So, let me just write these two as well.
gears. So the figure size has to be specified first. So what we have done over here? We have specified the size of the figure then we have written that on the x axis you should have the ages and y will have the counts. Red we have specified the red color of the dots and edges should be black and size is for 50 over here and you can see the range is going till 3. It means that the maximum count for any age was 3 from this sample. So, it has counted 3 also and it is using this display is double you can see the dashed line is there if I just want a solid line and I rerun this then basically you can see that this becomes thicker over here but this does not look appropriate so we would just make this and if you want to see how the transparency is impacted if we change this value of alpha so you see this becomes darker these lines whereas if you just write 0 0.5 and then run this so the dots are more clear and we want the dots to be obviously have better transparency. Likewise you can alter the size of the dots also from here you can make them smaller and if you do not want the edge colors right so here you see that the edges are black if you want just to be in red you can simply remove this and rerun this you can see that the edges are removed now. So, we can just keep it as of now fine. So, this plot basically this dot plot gives a visual representation of the distribution of ages in the sample that you have collected. Okay. So, you see that the do, uh, dots over here are stacked one above the other to indicate that how many times this particular age appears in that data set or the sample size sample that we have extracted over here sample size is 30. So, you can change this in order to get a sample of suppose say 50 or 100 whatever is your demand and you will get the dot plot accordingly. Suppose I just make this as 100 and rerun all of these. So, for this I can just go to kernel and write restart and run all. Okay. So, if you do this what will happen? So, all the input statements will be run again. So, you can see that star asterisk is coming on top because it is running. Once it is done you will get finally the output. Now, here if you want I can change this to 100 and you can see the number of dots over here have increased so much. Now, as the number of dots increase this dot plot gets cluttered and it gets difficult to interpret these. Hence, to deal with this we instead draw a histogram which divides the ages into different bins or the class intervals and then look at the corresponding frequencies. So, now we are going to write the code for a histogram for the age distribution in your data set. So, we already have the libraries pandas and matplotlib the data set is already loaded. So, we can directly go and create the histogram. So, create a histogram. So, plt. So, we set the size of the figure. Suppose you wanted for the width is 10 and height is 6 inches. we can just write it over here only. So, now we are going to use plt dot hist function to create the histogram. So, what are the parameters over here? Let me just write it data age. So, we are focusing on this age column from the data set. Suppose bins are 10, we want 10 bins color let us specify as sky blue and the edge color we can add as black and we can again write alpha as 0.7. So, here we have specified this that data is basically the age column 
and here we have we want bins of size 10. The color of the bars in the histogram would be sky blue and their edges will be black and this is to make them slightly transparent. Now we can add the title and the labels. So probably I could just simply use the same thing from here. Okay, so the heading would change. So histogram we can write histogram for ages and here you have age in this side we have frequency on the y axis. So grid axis y okay and line style and alpha can be same plot dot show fine so let us display how the graph so you see this is your histogram so using this histogram you can visualize the distribution of ages in your data set it looks left skewed in this case so if we change the number of bins suppose here 20 and run this see so see how it appears so basically if you change the number of bins it affects the granularity of the histogram so the number of bins will make the plot if you increase the number of bins it will also make the plot more granular and you can see smaller variation in the data as it was not that evident earlier however we should be careful because using too many bins can also lead to a cluttered plot Okay, suppose I change this to suppose 30 then you will see how it will look like. Okay, so th this will be a very cluttered data set, cluttered histogram. So the choice of the number of bins should be carefully made, sorry. So the choice of the bins should be carefully made depending upon the characteristics of your data set so that you can gain insight from it maybe we can take it 15 also so this was your histogram